both brand new leaked descriptions for Ninjago sets for the Summer Wave, which it will be definitely indicated for part two. What is going on with J? It says villain J. Basically, let's discuss this. First of all, we should def definitely take this with a grain of salt, because could he be evil? Who's to say? Set leaks can always be wrong, but because these are descriptions, until we see set photos, I can, we can't say much. Or part one of the show. Other thing is, if Jay is definitely going to be evil, it's going to definitely be in part two. And um, there's a couple of things we just need to talk about. Mainly, something that we need to definitely talk about is, why is he turning evil? He might be being a part of this tournament, but maybe he's not on the side of Lord Raz. Maybe he's um, another sort of villain aspect. Maybe Lord Raz might be part one of the villain and then part two. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. What if Lord Raz's master is a part of the administration? That sounds a lot more funner. This could definitely pin Jay up against the ninja in his fun, seducic way. Having their original friend, their mate, being a part of this tournament, being brainwashed by the administration to attack. This would so make a lot of sense, but I would have dedicated a whole season to an, the administration. So I mean, this organization slash villain, I would definitely have done that in like the first season and then you could have had explanations galore about Zane because they have said if they're doing a season three, they want to explore that part in um, part one of Dragon's Rising episode nine or eight. But Zane's basically in that cage. So, Jay being evil can have so many different reasons and so many outcomes. We do know episode 7 is going to be a sad one. So, if the ninjas see that their old friend has turned on them, it's going to be a shock. Something that we also should talk about is, this may be a disappointment to some people, but this is going to be free suits for Jay, not counting to the show. We got his Dragon's Rising suit, which everyone really likes, and I would have loved to see in the show. The mech pilot suit really fits Jay as well, and we're not going to see that by the looks of it. Maybe we might. Um, we did get a look at part, um, a part in the teaser trailer, and it looked like it was Jay. But we can't really speculate if it's Jay or Neo. I don't know, because every time I look at it, I see Jay, but then I see Neo. Jay, Neo. Who is it? Um, so it could be Jay, could not be. But um, I'm going to say no at this point. Because if he's turning evil, he's turning evil. Who's to say, really, though, um, something that I do also want to talk about is um, definitely how um, this could always affect Jay and Nia's love story. Um, they're definitely going to end up together what way, whichever way possible. It's definitely going to actually happen, but by the looks of it, there is going to be another rock in the road. As we've seen, Jay and Nia's love story is not as easy as a straight line, it's got its different paths and weaves and waves. Nia turning into sea, Jay losing her to Nana, kind of having to make a wish, or to calm, or even her giving herself up in Prime Empire for Jay to win. Um, there's a lot of categories here. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see, and I'm hoping by the end of season two, Jay will change his mind, no matter which way circumstances it is, if he's still brainwashed. Let me know how you feel about Jay being a villain. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.